It is dark outside. I am up early and to the gym and it's starting to get daylight a lot later than it was. But it's 6.30 and I'm pulling up to the gym. I've already done some fasted cardio on the treadmill. And now I'm headed to do more cardio and a leg lift. Yay for that. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm just feeling extremely exhausted. I am so exhausted. I just told Nick this morning, like, I don't even know what I'm like, how I'm going to make it. What I have six and a half more weeks. Like, I just feel so exhausted every day. Like I, you know, I know prep is exhausting, but I don't remember ever feeling this bad so far out from a show. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I just don't know, but I'm going to do it. Yesterday was a day from L. It was horrible. I'll have to come on later. I was going to come on yesterday and talk about it, but I just couldn't even find the energy or the willpower to do it. Uh, but I'll talk about it later. I'm about to head in here. I got to get going. I have a busy day like usual. Um, so I'm about to get in here, crush out legs and some more cardio. Let's go. What's up guys? So <sighs> this week has been crazy. Um, I just trained back and I got 75 minutes of cardio in. I only slept like five hours last night. I woke up at 2.30, my back killing me. So, little backstory. Um, I told you guys I would come on and talk about. So, I had an MRI scheduled for my shoulder. Um, and I went in there. First of all, it took forever to get it scheduled. Like, since March, it's just been a disaster. They keep rescheduling me. So anyways, I finally get in there. They strap me down to this table, which if you've had an MRI, you know, they're hard as a rock. And so I'm strapped to this table and they put this, they have me, my arms straight and they put this plastic thing over me. It was pushing on my boobs so bad. I thought it was going to pop my implants. And it was like digging into my chest here. And I was like, do you have to have the strap that tight? And he's like, Oh, it won't be very long, 25 minutes. He shoves me in the tube and it's playing music. And you know, the average song is like four, three to four minutes. Well, it's like on song number 10. And I'm like, okay, it's past 25 minutes. And he just goes on and on. Finally, he pulls me out and he just makes a face and he's like, uh, the machine is messing up. So there's fragments on your MRI. So I'm gonna have to take the, the motherboard out of the machine and reset it. And he pulled me out and I'm still strapped in, stuck there or whatever. And He's like, uh, I'm going to have to reset the machine. I'll just be a minute. Just hang tight. Meanwhile, like I am in so much pain from this thing pushing on me and my back started killing me. And I'm like, okay, it's just a minute. And uh, it goes, time goes by and goes by and goes by and I can't see anyone and I'm strapped in. I can only like move my fingers and move my head. And I'm like, I couldn't even move my legs. My back started like killing me. And I can't see the guy anywhere. And I'm like, okay, I was about to start screaming. Like someone let me out of here. Finally he comes in. He's like, okay, okay, we got it reset. And I was like, how much, I was like, hold up. How much longer is this going to take? Cause I'm in a lot of pain. And he's like, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. He shoves me in. I'm in there song after song after song. I'm like, okay. Like I'm, they gave you a little button and I'm like, I'm about to tap out. Like this is getting ridiculous. He comes, pulls me out, makes a face. He's like, it's still not working. So he's like, we're going to take you to another machine. I'm like, thank God, at least I can get off this table for a minute. He gets me off there, puts me on another one. Well, the other table was twice as hard. He puts this plastic thing on me. It's digging in even harder. And then the tube that connects to the headphones was like pushing into my throat right here where I couldn't breathe. And he shoves me in there. And I'm like, the music never came on. And it's loud as hell, buzzing in my ears. My head starts pounding. My back literally started hurting so bad. It was going into my left butt cheek and down my whole left leg. And it was so painful. My eyes started watering. Like I'm, I was not, I'm not a crier. Like I'm very tough. And I was just like, okay, like just get me out of here. And I'm like, they give you the button to squeeze. And I'm like, no, like I just want to get this MRI done, whatever it takes. It literally was so painful. Finally pulls me out 
And he's like, okay, now I got to put in the contrast IV. And I'm like, look, I was like, I, I am in so much pain. I'm not trying to complain, but like, this is killing me. And he's like, we're almost done. He pushes me in. I finally get out of there and I get my uh, watch. I have been on that table for two and a half hours, two and a half hours. So then I leave there. I'm so late to my, over an hour late to my patient and my tire blows out. I'm not making this up. My tire blows out. Bam! Scared the crap out of me. I almost crashed my car. Luckily, it was down the street close to where my brother's job is. So I ran because I'm like, I'm already late to my patient. My patient screamed at me, cussed me out. Even though I explained to her what happened, they don't care. They do not care. She's homebound. She's at home all day. I don't know what it mattered to her. But anyways, because I was late and I'm never late. I'm never late. I'm always early scream cussed me out so i'm like crap i cannot be late this patient so i ran in the heat it was hot as crap to my brother's job can i borrow your keys to your car i need to go see a patient my tire just blew out he just hands me the keys i left my car on the side of the road went and seen my patient called nick he left work from 45 minutes away came and changed my tire parked my car at my brother's job i came back got my car I had a donut on it and then I had to see all my patients on this donut tire scared to death it's gonna break off or something and then go get another tire oh my god it was a disaster but anyway since then my back has been hurting so bad like so bad it's insane so I woke up at 2 30 this morning my back was just in like excruciating pain um and so I got up walked around the house for a little bit went back to sleep at 3 30 and then I woke up at like four freezing cold and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't think I ever went back to sleep. And I finally got up. So I just did my cardio, worked out. Now I'm at Publix, my favorite place to be, to get some fish, spinach, mushrooms, egg whites, and rice. And then I got to go see more patients. Um, but the good news is I only have 15 minutes of cardio left after I'm done seeing patients today. And then I'm just going to chill out. I washed and blow dried my hair last night. So I don't have to do that today. And then I'm just going to freaking chill out and probably just veg out. But tomorrow we're, I'm going to Tampa and I'm going straight from there to my grandma's. Because we're having a big family get together Saturday. And my dad's coming into town. I'm so excited. I haven't seen my dad since February. And I'm a daddy's girl all the way. I love my dad to death. So I get to see my dad tomorrow night. So I'm driving up to my grandma. So tonight I got to pack all my meals and all that meal prep and stuff. Um, which I considered like just driving up for the day Saturday. It's a three hour drive and not staying the night Friday night. So I can sleep and all that. But I'm like I really want to spend time with my dad and my family. And family's important. So yeah, and I don't know, I woke up this morning with kind of a sore throat. My voice sounds a little cracky. I have a headache. I'm like, gosh, I hope I'm not getting sick. So I'm about to load up on some Zycam and wellness pills. Um, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> this week, you just gotta laugh. When things like this happen, you just have to laugh and shake it off and roll with the punches and just be blessed and thankful you're alive. And Hey, it could be worse. Here's a lady walking by at 9 a.m. carrying a 24 case of Bud Light. So yeah, she's about to have a good day. <laughs> All right, gotta go. What's up? What's up? So I'm sitting here waiting for Nick. Uh, I went to Tampa today, trained with Joey. We went to the mall, went to Trader Joe's, looked at all the fun pumpkin things, just dreaming, you know. I got a couple things for Nick and for my family. So Nick is about to pick me up here. As you can see, my car is loaded down and we are about to head up to North Florida um to my grandma's we're having a big family get together tomorrow i'm so excited i get to see my dad i'm so excited um but yeah 
So I was talking to Joey and she agreed that I'm just like super inflamed. She's like, Ashley, like, have you even taken any real rest days? And I'm like, not really. And I'm like, my whole body hurts. My back is still jacked up from this MRI on Tuesday. Um, it's been hurting so bad driving today. And like my right glute is like killing me. So like driving to Tampa today, my I had to like lean over onto my left like glute because my right glute hurts to even sit on. And I'm just exhausted. Like we worked out today, we trained legs, but it was like, I was just so exhausted. So um, tomorrow I am gonna train upper body at this gym that just opened up at my grandma's. It's really cool. Maybe I'll get some footage there. And then Sunday, I'm gonna take a complete rest day. I'm not gonna do the bike. I'll probably do, I'll definitely do some faster cardio and get some steps in. I wanna hit at least 10K steps, but I am not going to train or do the bike and just try to relax. Nick's looking for me. He's calling me and I'm making this video. I'm flagging him down. Here he comes. But yeah, I'm just going to completely chill and try to like relax. And I'm going to do a refeed on Sunday, a big high carb day. So I'll keep you guys posted. Making peach cobbler here. Wow. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. Fresh peaches going in the peach cobbler. Okay, you guys, so it's 10 o'clock at night and Nick is calling my grandparents' house, the House of Horrors, because they're making so much noise. Grandpa's out there whistling and singing and it's 10 o'clock at night and we all said we were going to bed. I don't know if you can hear that. Earlier, Grandma like smoked out the whole house in the oven and she started taking the spray and was opened the oven while it was going and spraying spray everywhere and it smoked the whole house out. My dad's in here cracking up, but how cute is this? Look at this wall of pigs. Look at the donut one. <laughs> I freaking love it here. So we're having a talent contest tomorrow and we all just sing songs to do talent. And I found out Anyways, we all just practiced our songs and I found out that Nick can sing really good. It's kind of crazy. And uh, yeah, so we have a talent show tomorrow. doing some cardio. I found this gym over by my grandma's house. It's actually a really nice gym. So I'm going to finish up my cardio and then I'm going to get in a shoulder lift and maybe I can film some. <laughs> Awesome. 
five second rule. Yep. Are you a tiny whiny? Okay guys, so I swear there's like a black cloud over me this week. All the shit that has happened to me. And then last night we stayed at my grandma's. I got one hour of sleep, one hour, if that. Um, so my grandma has Parkinson's and she's just up all night long. And then her dog was like squeaking this squeaky toy literally all hours of the night, running around with its little collar jingling. I put the dog in another room at one point and then my grandpa let it back out two in the morning three in the morning I mean I literally slept maybe one hour so I'm completely exhausted my back is still killing me from this MRI thing like it hurts so bad I did schedule a massage for Tuesday but I'm in just so much pain I'm so exhausted I am so watery I don't know what my weight is because I didn't have my scale with me here but like my body just looks like garbage like I'm just I'm getting in my head now I'm frustrated I know I'm just tired, but it's like, I just feel like I'm not gonna be ready for this show. I don't know what's going on this prep. I am pushing hard. I'm doing everything that I know that I'm supposed to do. I haven't cheated at all. And I mean, I literally even passed up the lights and I was looking back at pictures. And last year, the same weekend, we were up at my grandma's, the same amount of weeks out from the hurricane and I had the lights on the way here. And like, I looked shredded, I looked amazing. Yes, I had been competing, but it's just frustrating you know like I started this prep pretty lean and I didn't have a whole lot of weight to lose and it's like my body's just being so stubborn and it's like I was having all these cheat meals drinking bites of stuff I cut all that out and it's like I'm doing tons of cardio I'm pushing myself but I am just so dead and I'm so ready to be home we left my grandma's at four o'clock it's now almost six. We've been sitting for over 30 minutes at a dead stop on the interstate because of an accident they're not letting anyone go I have to pee. I just want to go home. And I met Nick at his job site yesterday. So we have to go to his job site. And then it's another 45 minute drive home from there. I'll have to drive my car. And I literally feel like I'm just going to pass out. I'm so tired. Who knows we're going to get home because nothing is moving. And this is just really frustrating. I'm just ready for this week to be over and I don't know if this is a sign from God that I shouldn't be doing this prep or what but I have literally this has been by far the hardest prep I've ever done and it's like every other day that it's just something else and it's like is this a sign from God saying you need to stop this I don't know I I want to see it through because I see everything through but I'm getting very very close to just saying screw this like is it really truly worth it like I feel like crap every day I'm exhausted all these things are happening to me and I just I don't know somehow I did my 90 minutes of cardio today on one hour of sleep and I am so dead I just want to be home and now I'm stuck here and I don't know what's happening but this is this dark cloud can go away. It can go away. Hey guys. Okay, so update from the week, wrap up, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this past week was brutal. <laughs> As you'll see in some of my stories and throughout this YouTube, like I just went through a lot, but you know what? Um, you know, I got to change my mindset. I got to pull out of all this slump of like all these things that have been happening to me. You know, it's like there's a dark cloud over my head, but you know what? I got to move forward. Just stay positive and keep pushing. I got six weeks left to go and, you know, I'm going to make things happen in these next six weeks. I'm going to push hard. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to quit. I'm not a quitter. Um, and you know what? Life's always going to have challenges. There's always going to be things that come up and struggles in life and you can't let them bring you down. I mean, you can't just take the struggles and just say, oh, that's it. I'm quitting. This is too hard. That's when you got to rise above it push harder and keep going. So that's my goal. Um, and I'm ready to take on these next six weeks and just keep killing it. So let's go. Let's crush it.